You ever remember a time where someone knew the truth and then confronted you? Or maybe you did it. Usually it happens moms and dads with kids or kids with moms and dads. I remember when I was four years old or five years old, I can't remember which, but I opened the car door on the way home. I was strapped, or not even strapped in on the front seat. And yeah, it was a long time ago because I was in the front seat, no seat belt on. Open the front door. My dad at home said, Bobby, did you open the door? I knew full well he knew, and he knew that he knew. And I still said, no, uh uh But you know, that's the same way we are with God. And today we're looking at Romans chapter 3, verses 25 and 26. And 25 says that God presented Christ as an atoning sacrifice. In other words, God said, okay. I know your need. I know you can do nothing about your need. Here is Jesus sacrificed for you to make up for your sin, to atone for your sin, to appease my wrath for your sin. God knew we had need and he took care of the need. And then the Bible says that it's received by faith. In other words, there's nothing we can do. We just receive it by faith. Why don't we come to Christ's sin? Why do unbelievers, want to make it a little uh, unpersonal, why do unbelievers not come to Christ? Pride. Because to come to Christ, you have to admit that you're a sinner and that you can do nothing about your sin. And that's something we don't like to admit. We're prideful. Yes, I can take care of my sin. My sin's not really that bad. Nope, not really that bad. But our sin separates from God. Our sin demands payment, a penalty. And the only penalty that will suffice is Jesus' death on the cross. So if you've come to Christ, it takes some humility to say, nope, it's me. If you've never come to Christ, then I urge you today, put your pride behind. God knows already. He looks down and goes, yeah, I can see you're sinful. God knows what you know in your heart of hearts already. So today, by faith, accept the free gift, the atoning sacrifice that is Jesus Christ. So, for one of the little interaction here, what is it that keeps you from coming to Christ, or what is it you struggle with to come to Christ? Either email me and tell me about it, or leave a comment at the bottom. If you want to read the whole devotional, go to the link at the bottom of the page, and we'll see you tomorrow.